Well, I'm back home. You get home to find something very surprising. Your best friend is there waiting for you. Miriam, where have you been? I... Because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you about it, but I can't find you. I got worried that something had happened to you. Oh, it's... Okay, I was just... But now it turns out you're fine. I can finally get you up to speed on the saga of Miriam. Sure, but... You will not believe what happened to me after school yesterday. I went on a date. I think I can believe that. Was it with Pop? <laughs> Since I've been partnered up with Pop, yeah, I was right. He asked me to go out with him. Of course, I told him, you'd better harness those wild horses, young man. I'm not that kind of girl. But he was just interesting in spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yeah, sure, I, I can get to know the little guy. Long story short, he took me to his favorite slushy house. Was it slush? But things quickly spiraled out of control. Did you just say slush house? As if that's a thing people just say. What is that even referring to? <laughs> Miriam. Oh, she's in tears. And now I'm not really sure where we stand. You don't give Miriam time to tell her whole story. However, bottling up the details of your own night is just too much to bear. And I went on a date to back to Colonel Sanders' house where I spent the night with him. <laughs> She got a little shock on her face. What happened? <laughs> you what? <laughs> Nothing happened, but the emotional connection. Wow, this. Miran offers to support you no matter what you do. That's nice of her. She's a good friend. Together with your bestie, you feel like you can do anything. When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the squad. In the quad? Yeah. What are they up to? They seem happy today. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop through him himself might be quite grasp that fact. Okay, no, no, no. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop or through himself he might not quite grasp that fact. So he's not on, he's not aware that he's been bullied. Because you know he's Pop. Pop. What a swirly sounds delicious. <laughs> What's a swirly sounds delicious? Van Van. Oh, it's great. I'll order you one up right away. Pop. I will have my swirly with sprinkles, please. Hee hee hee. Sprinkles are good dog and a treat. Ashling. You can get your swirly dipped too. Celian. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Man, man, because I'm literally the biggest person at school. Is he? Yeah, he's, he's muscly. Is he a warrior chef? Ashleen, there is that horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school, but who would dare pick on a, such a gentle and beautiful creature? She's... Oh, she likes animals. She's got little tears in her eyes for saying that. I don't know why. Man, man, you got some nerve, Kazelian, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Man, what? I never even said that. I don't know where you're getting this idea from. Cassillian. Now you're twisting my words and I won't have it. You clench your fist, but the injury from yesterday's mix axe makes you wince with pain. Oh yeah, I messed up my hand. Bam, man. Doesn't it look like you can go on cooking like that? Might as well give up. I will never give up, ever. Colonel Sanders arrives just as it appears things are close to boiling over. A natural ins intuitive? Naturally in I don't know. Intuitive person. He senses that something has been going on. Man, she look she puts her hands together, look like an angel now. Look. Ah, oh, I'm an angel, nothing. I didn't do anything wrong, no. Is there anyone excited for the final day of school, Kazilian? How's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. I'm very excited. I'm finally getting through the seminar and uh, you know, relax after this. So I'd like to see where my romantic life happens with Colonel Sanders. 
Uh -huh. Ashleen, aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail, winning so hard. <laughs> She's crying again. She's got tears in her hand, eyes. Colonel Sam, technically I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing? I'm playing it. Ashley, but what about the flavour of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? Wink, wink. Colonel Sanders, it was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's a lot of words to say it was bland. Was her food bland? Colonel Sanders, excuse me, Cassilian. I'm more than capable enough to speak for myself. Oh, he looks angry at me. Ashley, maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts as we work, walk into the class, Colonel. I'm always in. I'm always interested in discussing the line, the fine art of fine foods. See you inside, Cassilian. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley for who you know she really is. You walk across the quad to get some distance. In an attempt to distance yourself from how slighted you feel by that interaction with Ashleen, you take out the spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Well, I think I'm up to some mischief here. Miriam, wow, well, that's that book. It looks uh, like uh, bad news. Just something I found laying around. It would appear to be some sort of grimoire, but I don't really believe in magic stuff. A grimoire? Like a book of spells? I don't know. Who would spend so much time decorating a magic book if it wasn't really powerful? I can think of one surefire way to find out. You open to f a page covered with arcane warnings cast only in case of extreme emergency it says around the edge of the page i could use this spell here that says it will erase everyone i chose from all of my memories if i scrub out Cassinian, if i scrub out colonel sanders it would probably help me focus better on the upcoming fun exam i could use this spell here that says it will erase anyone I choose from all my memories. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it would probably help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. Look at that. Didn't like this idea. That is way dramatic. Couldn't you do something else like anything else not rooted in dark magic? Maybe tie a string around your finger? Good idea. Okay, fine, it's dramatic, but dress of times called dress with measures. You've got a memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. I don't think this should mess with your memories here. You've got a memory erasing spell right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. Uh, cast a forbidden spell, don't do it after all. I ain't gonna do it. And badly, don't do it. You take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class. Sprinkles is already in the room, waiting for the students to arrive. Cleaves his voice to make a quick announcement. Sprinkles, I want you all to know, I feel something of a dark moment coming on, but I saw you, it's nothing to be afraid of. His cute little nose scrunches up and he begins to breathe quickly. He must be hungry. Reach for some old homework to give him as a snack. Oh, homework. Dogs can be rather unpredictable, especially sprinkles. Wait to see what happens. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's wait. Sprinkle steps, stops in his tracks. He focuses on, on the window. The room is deadly silent. When you follow his gaze, you see a tiny orange squirrel perched on the cherry tree outside. 
Sprinkle turns feral and runs to the window of the classroom. Iku begins barking uncontrollably at the squirrel outside. Sprinkles. Terence, I told you never to come back here. Terence, I will destroy you, Terence. Is, is this girl a former teacher? <laughs> oh. Sprinkles is breathing furiously, drool flying off his face. The squirrel looks over, but he doesn't say anything back. You wonder, is that even a talking squirrel? Who named him Terence? Sprinkles, you better not show your chubby cheeks around here ever again. After Sprinkles is satisfied that his presence has been felt not felt by not only Terence but any other squirrel in the hearing distance. In the hearing distance he returns to his professional tone. Sprinkles. Um I apologize for the outburst. This actually brings up an important point. Thank you, Cassinia, for reminding me to dole out this indispensable bit of wisdom, you see? But before you can go any further, Miriam's love drama spills over into the class. Sprinkles is interrupted by a sad whimpering coming from the back of the room. Miriam, I told you to save it for the cl after class. I told you to save it for after class. Well, oh, but I miss you. We went on one date, Pop, and how can you miss me when I'm right here? Pop's voice quivers as he pleads his case to Miriam. Pop, every time I blink you go away again. <laughs> That's a really cute thing to say, Miriam, but what happened between you and Pop? I got in trouble and now she's mad at me. I didn't just get in trouble, I got yelled at by Pop's mother who blames me for getting him banned from every museum. Museum? Muse? Muse? Museum? Museum we set foot in. Okay, I got it. Oh, that's what you meant by slush house. Slush? Shush house. Shush house. Okay. Pop, we went on one day, we're over. Oh, you got dumb card. Pop, and it meant so much to me that I make this for you. Too hurt to go on arguing, Pop leaves his um, creation behind and runs out of the room. What is that, slime cupcake? It's got egg in there. Uh, nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a pail over the final day of school. Paul, cast a put. All right. Well, that was unfortunate. But you must. Be, but we mustn't be distracted from what lies ahead. The final competition showdown, Chan's exam. Uh, they're gonna ask me questions. Oh, so question. So many questions. I'm gonna get them wrong. Uh, I need to believe in myself. Sprinkles, I'm still working on the title, but I think you got it. Test time approaches, see you all in the arena. Before you can think about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Is it Miriam or Colonel Sanders? Probably Miriam. Hey Miriam, are you okay? She is very upset. Okay, I'm so mad I could smash a tiny mug, spilling several drops of hot cocoa all over the floor. How could he harass me in... How could he embarrass me in class like that in front of everyone? The tiny cocoa is a delicious treasure, so you know that this breakup is no joke. Even if the source of a frustration is such a silly boy. I know that you know this, but I'm gonna say it out loud, you don't need anyone. She, little tears. Me and you, we're gonna cruise to this final test and hit the carpool lane to Sess City! 
Miriam brightens up, imagining the wind rushing through her short bangs, but she hesitates to embrace the thing all the way. <laughs> You're not going to saddle up on Colonel Sanders, Stallion, and ride off into the set sunset without me. No, I'm going to take you on there. I'm taking you with me, girl. I'm taking you with me. Of course not. Well, maybe, sort of, but I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it and a ranch big enough for both of us and whoever else we want to bring along. Well, yeah. Maybe you'll find someone too and we can all live together. <laughs> if it's not Pop or Clank or anyone else you meet today, tomorrow or this whole year or so what, you're a special person who shouldn't settle for the first someone who shows a little interest in you anyhow. Miriam gives you a big hug and wipes the tears from her cheeks. I should really review my menu for today. I'm going to make a very special soup. And I bet that professional dog is going to love it up. While you were pep talking Miriam, you completely missed lunch, but that's okay because you had a better idea of how to spend the time before your exam. You've decided to head to the arena early to practice the dish. I'm ready, Master Chef. I don't know if you have Master Chef in your country, but this reminds me of it, that TV show. This is the location of your final challenge, a test of will, a test of courage, a test of talent and a chance to beat the pants of Van Van, the supposed man-man, and his ever, uh, ever, and his evil counterpart, Ashleen. As planned, you begin to run through a quick test of a recipe you've been working on, Concilian's famous chicken pot pie. After practicing for months, making this dish comes second nature to you, and you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven, but as soon as you do, the cram session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. Uh, this is where the uh, memory racing thing would have come in uh, handy, because if I start blanking out, I might lose this competition. Colonel Sanders, why are you doing here? There's still time before... Colonel Sanders, Kazilian, what are you doing here? There's still time before the final exam. Brazilian. Just taking it all in, I'm big into visualizing success. I'm looking at my station and picturing victory. The pot pie has begun to bake and the smell is slowly filling the space around you. Hmm. Visualizing, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were cooking something delicious. How do you usually happy? How, how, usually happily share your food. Ah, uh, you'd usually happily share your food with anyone who is hungry, but the last time you let Colonel Sanders get in your head, it cost you a cook off. That's why I'm think saying, well, I can't raise my memories. It could cause all kinds of problems. You decided it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires, but that decision gets hard to stick to when the oven timer goes off behind you. You know it like there was no sound at all. Fess up about your practice dish. Fess up. Okay, okay, you got me. I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. I know, my nose can smell a pot pie from 400 yards. That's an oddly pacific distance, but you'd expect nothing less from such a oddly pacific man. You know it was a pot pie just from the smell. Not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie with a all butter crust. Huh. And my nose is telling me something else. Oh, is it burning? Ah, uh, no, I can smell that it was made with a heaping... Help, help, he, the heaping helping of TLC. That's nice. But I will probably stop burning any second if you don't pull it out. <laughs> Look, you're sweating. 
the mom of truth. Colonel sounded wow. Colonel sounded wow. Yeah, is this on the menu for KFC? I don't remember this. Maybe this is like in America or some other place. <gasps> Colonel Sanders, it's the best pot pie I've ever tasted. I was always loved country cooking. I've always loved country cooking. I could eat this all day. There's no time left. The final soldown is about to begin. <laughs> 